look, this is all political chess. This is all political nonsense. Ron DeSantis pressures Biden admin to let states purchase monoclonal antibody treatments. This is literally the government punishing red states for not going along with the Biden administration's dictator-like edicts, with their dictator-like mandates. And by the way, a mandate's only official if you agree with it. That's why nobody, nowhere ever you're going, no matter where it is, has ever actually been charged or been truly punished for not wearing a mask or anything like that. In fact, you're going to see later in this episode how people that got their vaccines are going to be punished. And it's, it's quite sickening. But States across this country, red states, have not been able to get monoclonal antibodies, have not been able to get treatments for people that are suffering, that haven't gone into the hospital yet, or might end up dying in a hospital because they haven't gotten these treatments, just because he's an asshole, just because he wants to pressure people. He's literally holding people hostage with the lives of of Americans, our brothers and sisters. And with how Ashley Babbitt was treated, you can see just how much Joe Biden and the elites care about the lives of Americans. All right. It says here, Governor Ron DeSantis called for the Biden administration to allow his state to obtain more monoclonal antibody treatments as it encounters the Omicron variant of COVID-19. Quote, we're past the point now where we're able to get it directly from any of these companies, DeSantis said during a press conference. All right, the federal government has cornered the entire market. They took control of the entire supply all the way back in September. DeSantis noted that the administration stopped sending both Regeneron and monoclonal antibody treatments. The department later said it would allow states to order those products from the HHS. You know, the Health and Human Services, the second in command has that tranny up there. Ugh. The governor's press conference came nearly a week after a Surgeon General, Dr. Joseph Lapapa, uh, Ladapo, sent the U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Berkera a letter requesting the federal government restore distribution of monoclonal antibody treatments to the state. All right. They're literally fighting for medical stuff to help people with. All right. Look down in Texas. Look at all that steel for the wall rotting while the government won't sell it to Texas. Do you really think they're going to sell medications? They literally cornered the entire market, bought up all of the Regeneron, all of the monoclonal antibodies and put it in a warehouse somewhere and said, fuck you to Florida. Fuck you to all the old people. I want you in Boca Raton, Boynton Beach, Broward County, Miami, Dade, Orlando, all of you folks, 65 and up down there, you true blue Democrats that voted for Biden, if you know any of your friends or family that have died because they haven't gotten one of these treatments, I want you to look at yourself hard in the mirror because you voted for this. You voted for this. You voted for this schmuck. Sorry to tell you, that is the God's honest truth. The federal government is actively preventing the effective distribution of monoclonal antibody treatments in the United States. The sudden suspension of multiple monoclonal antibody therapy treatments from distribution to Florida removes a health care provider's ability to decide the best treatment options for their patients in this state. As Ladapo's letter noted, HHS said in September that it would determine state-by-state -state distribution of certain drugs. An official reportedly said the move would help maintain equitable distribution. There's that word again. Whenever you see equity, that's the left's version of their own form of racism, both geographically and temporarily across the country. On Friday, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported more than 75,900 new cases of COVID-19 in Florida. This was the other week. That tally raised the seven-day average to 42.6, which is twice as high as it was during the peak of the summer surge when Delta variant fueled the surge of infections to the state. But again, you don't see the same amount of panic, do you? And that's because patriots across this great land are waking up up, especially in Florida, especially under great leadership like Ron DeSantis gives. People are waking up to the truth. They know that we have to live with this China virus. We know accountability is eventually coming. And right now we have to be strong and live our lives the best and the freest we can.
All right. It says last week, HHS touted the administration's progress in bringing two new over-the-counter COVID-19 tests to the market, which is part of a broader effort by the administration to increase access to testing. Biden, though, has come under fire for saying there was no federal solution to the pandemic despite pushing multiple initiatives from the executive branch. In December, the White House touted its deployment of federal personnel to help dozens of states. Quote, to date, we have deployed over 2,000 personnel, including 1,300 clinical providers, surged over 3,200 ventilators, ambulances, and other critical supplies, shipped over 2.3 million courses of life-saving monoclonal antibody treatments, the White House touted on December 2nd. But as we face the potential of a new variant and rising cases during the winter months, today the president will make clear that the federal government will once again be prepared to help. And this, my friends, this was from the other week, and Biden has failed even further. He has not helped. Things have gotten worse. Nobody has tests. Nobody has treatments. Nobody has anything. But thank God. Thank God Almighty, Omicron is not killing people. Thank God Almighty that the truth is out there. But you know, people don't want to hear about the truth. They don't want to hear about the truth. And that leads more and more people to believe that there really is a mass formation psychosis occurring over COVID-19 in the United States. And that's a big deal. And it's a big deal when the inventor all right, the patent holder for RNA vaccines, the mRNA vaccines, the gene therapy that they're shoving these COVID-19 molecules in everybody uh, 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 is going to this guy. He even says that people are going absolutely insane, absolutely insane. All right. And, and, and what does he get for it? What does he get for speaking the truth? What does he get for giving his opinion? He's banned. He's literally banned off of Twitter. All right. People of prominence, the scientists that literally invented these things are getting told by the ever so wise masses, go fuck yourself. You don't know what you're talking about. We're going to we're going to just do what we want and say it's science. That's what's happening. People literally are losing their minds. And that's something we need to talk about, because how long are we really going to live like this, folks? How long are we going to, to live like this? Are you in fear? Are you in fear for your life? And if you are, is that any way to live? Is that any way to enjoy your time on this planet, on this God's uh, green earth, this beautiful, beautiful rock floating bazillions of miles an hour through the cosmos, through the vacuum of space? I mean, at any moment it could end. All right. At any moment you could close your eyes and never open them again. So is living in fear, living in oppression, is that really how you want to do it? Is that really? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. And that's why I think you're listening to, to, to the show. That's why I think you're watching this show. If you're a skeptic, at least for those that are just watching because they enjoy it, I, I appreciate you. All right. And we're going to try to keep getting more podcasts out more often. All right. But also, if you're a talent, if you have been interested in doing a podcast yourself, if you've got a setup, but but you see uh, that that it's been difficult to get the word out, why don't you reach out to me, James Lane at AmericanRevely.com, and we might have room for you under the American Revely LLC umbrella. Think about it. All right. Think about getting your work out to more patriots. They need to hear this. All right. You need to hear about people like Dr. Robert Malone, and you need to hear about it from more people than just me. All right. If you're a writer, if you're a blogger, if you have talent in graphic design, art, animation, reach out to me, James Lane at AmericanRevely.com. Or if you just want to help, if you'd like to donate crypto or just a regular cash donation, we'd greatly appreciate that too. Again, reach out to me, James Lane at American Revely dot com or go to the website www.americanrevelle.com and reach out to me there all right but people really look around you look around you what do you see hmm? what do you see i see people trapped by fear all right. This could literally be like the Patrick Swayze part of the Donnie Darko movie where he's uh, in the auditorium talking about people. I will not be trapped by fear. I won't be scared anymore. I'm going to be brave. Oh, 